In this video, let me show you how to develop a weak picker using jQuery UI's date picker widget. So the date picker widget allows us to select a date, to enable or disable specific dates and there are a lot many options available in jQuery UI's date picker widget. But the weak picker option is not available by default. So let's try to develop a weak picker using jQuery UI's date picker widget. So to illustrate this, I have already saved a web page, added reference to the latest jQuery and jQuery UI files and also added a title like weak picker. Now let me try to create a basic date picker. So let me add a div element with id weak picker because we are going to develop a weak picker and here let me add the code. So script and within this let me add document dot ready event so dollar document dot ready then function open and close parenthesis open and close curly braces and within this we need to write our code so in order to make this development as a date picker that is a default date picker widget what we need to do we just have to access it dollar hash week picker then dot date picker we just have to specify like this so that this will become a date picker. Now let me save this and check the output. This is the web page. Let me refresh. See, this is how it is now looking like. So the default theme is smoothness. So that is why it is having this look and feel. I think I can change the theme so that it will look different. So here this is the jQuery UI's official website. If I go to themes and here the gallery, we can see different themes, base, UI lightness, UI darkness, smoothness. This is the one we have already used. So let me choose this one or okay, this one. So its name is start. So instead of smoothness, I can change it to start so that the look and feel will be different. Now let me save this and go to our web page refresh see this is how it is now looking like now suppose i want to select a different date this is today's date that is 5th of march 2021 suppose i want to select 15th see it is having a different color it is now in green color so today will be displayed in a different color and the selected date will be displayed in green color now what i want to do suppose i click on 17th I want to select the whole week that is from 14th to 20th and all these dates should be displayed in this particular color which means it is being selected right. Suppose I click on 25th it should select from 21st to 27th all these dates. Now suppose if I click on 31st what should happen it should select 28, 29, 30 and 31st of March and also 1st, 2nd and 3rd of April then only it will be the complete week right. So if we want to display all those dates as selected, what we want to have actually, we need to have the previous and next month's date here itself. So there is some option for that. We will add that option and also then we need to write the code to select the whole week. So let's do that. So first let us try to display the dates of previous or next months if required. That is if it starts from Sunday and ends at Saturday, that's fine. The whole month will be in one place itself. But in most of the cases that will not be possible, right? So we need to display the dates of previous and next months. So what we can do for that, there is an option for that. That option is show other months. If we go to the official website and go to API documentation and in the widgets, if we select the date picker widget, we can find all the options there. So here you could see show other months so that it will be displayed. So here let me put curly braces because we are going to add a number of options so it is show other months and its value should be set to true now let me save this and check the output this is a web page let me refresh see now we are seeing 28th of february and first second and third of april but see here it is not selectable actually it is getting displayed but we cannot select these dates as we select these dates we can only see that so what we can do is that there is one more option for that that is select other months. 
So, if we specify select other months to be true, then those dates also will be selectable. So, select other months to be true. And now, let me save this and check it. Let me refresh. See, now these dates are also selectable. We want to select these dates or these dates so that the whole week will be selected. Now, we need to write the code, right? So, how we can implement that? On selecting a date, we need to write the code. So, here we have on select. See, here on select is there. It will be a function with string value as the data text. Sorry, date text. That is the date we have selected will be returned as a string and also an object. So, we are going to write the code on select of the date. So, here putting a comma, I can specify on select. Then it will be a function with selected date and an instance, right? So, let me specify selected date and instance and here we need to write the code. So, for the time being, let me just try to display the selected date. As already mentioned there, it will be returned as a string value. Now, let me save this. Let me refresh. Let me select 17th. Okay, let me go to the console, more tools, developer tools. See, we are seeing 3, 17, 20, 21. So, the date is 17th, month is March. So, it is displayed in the format mm, dd, yy, yy. If I select 26, see, 3, 26, 20, 21. Suppose I go to June and select 15th, see, 6, 15, 20, 21. 6 means it is June. So, we are getting the value. Now, what we are going to do is that we will pass the current year, month and also the date minus the day. That is, this is 15th means we need to get 13, right? So, the date will be 15th and the day will be 012. That is, we will be using JavaScript's date methods. So, by using that, we will get the start of the week and also the end of the week. So, first what we need to do? We need to convert this into a date format. Then only we will be able to get the year, month and date from that. If it is a string, we cannot get the details easily. So, I am going to convert this string value into a date value. So, what we can do for that? I can write where my date or where selected date. Okay, already selected date is here. So, let me specify it as my date itself. Where my date what we can do to convert this string into a date object? We just have to specify new date of selected date. This will convert this string value. As it is mentioned here, this will be returned as a string. So, we need to get it as a date. So, I have specified new date of selected date. Now, suppose I try to display that console.log my date. What it will be? It will be in date format. Let me select, refresh, select 10th. See, this is 31021. This is in string format and this is WED, that is Wednesday, MAR, March 10, 2021, then GMT plus 0530 Indian Standard Time. So, suppose if I select this, first it will be displayed as string, which is returned by the function and also in date format. Next, I want to get the start date and end date. That is a start of the week and end of the week. So, let me have some global variables because we will be using these variables in some other functions as well. So, where week start, comma, week end. Now, let me remove these two console statements. Okay. And here, let me write week start. That is, we are going to find the week start equals new date. If you already know JavaScript date methods, we can have a date by specifying the year, month and date. So, what is the year? We have to get it from my date. We have to get it from my date dot get full year. As you could see here, get full year returns the year of the specified date. So, from here, it will return the year means what it will be if the selected date is 24th March 2021 year will be 2021 then we need to pass the month so let me specify my date dot get month this will give us the month in the specified date which means in our case as the date is 24th 
March, it will be 3. Okay. Then we need to pass the date. So here what we need to get, we actually have to get 21st. So if we subtract 24 minus 3, we will get 21st, right? So if we get the date and then the day, day means it is a day of the week. It starts from 0, ends at 6. So if we subtract 24 minus 3 means the day will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So it will be correct. So what we are going to do is that, let me specify my date dot get date. It will be 24th. Then minus my date dot get day. As you could see here, returns the day of the week for the specified date according to local time. So this will give us the starting. That is, if we click on 8th, the date will be 8th and day will be 0, 1. Hope you understand this. The get day method will return the day of the week that is starting from 0 it will be 1. If you want I can show you here we have converted this right. So let me just try to display console.log my date dot get date and let me put a space or a colon to separate them and put my date dot get day. Okay now let me save this and show you. Let me end this statement. Let me save this. Let me refresh. Let me click on 9th. So what will be the actual values we will see? 9 and 0, 1, 2. Let me click. See 9 and 2. Because 9 is the actual date and 2 is the day of the week starting from 0. Suppose I click 26. What will be the values? 26 and 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. See 26 and 5. So 26 minus 5 means it will give us a start of the week okay so we got the week start let me remove the statement and show you week start console.log week start now let me save this let me refresh let me click 18 see 14th that is sunday march 14 2021 that is a start week start suppose i click 30th see it is 20th so we are getting the start week Sorry, week start correctly. Next, let us try to get the week end. So what we need to do, we can just add 6 to the last date part. Right? It will be start. Then if we add 6 more, it will give us the end. So let me copy this and make the required changes. Week end. And here, it is full year. Get month. Get date minus get day plus 6. So that it will be the end of the week. So console.log week end. Let me save this. Let me refresh. Let me click on 10th. So the weekend should be 13th, right? See, Saturday, March 13th. We have just added 6. So we are first calculating the week start and then adding 6 to that. If it is, say, 2nd, see, 3rd April, Saturday. Now we are ready with the week start and week end dates next what we need to do we just have to display the whole week as selected that is in this green color itself and also we will display the date here as some span element or paragraph element so we will do it in the next lecture